Danny Acosta for Fight Magazine here with UFC welterweight contender John Fitch. John, we have big card this weekend, UFC 119. Frank Mir versus Mirko Krokop, heavyweight clash in the main event. Who do you got? Uh, you know, it, it's kind of hard to pick because uh, <clears throat> I, I always uh, have a little love for Krokop, you know, back in the day watching him kick people's heads off. So you always want him to see, see him do well, so you always kind of keep wanting, to, wanting him to win. So I'm hoping we get one more, one more fight out of Crow Cop that's the old Crow Cop. Uh, but uh, if Mir keeps fighting the way he has, but he's probably going to take him down and, and submit him, I think. Uh, Frank Mir is coming off a loss, and Mirko's coming off a win. Do you think momentum will be able to carry Crow Cop to that win? Uh, you know, it could. You know, that'd be nice to see. You know, I think everybody kind of wants to see Crow Cop end his career on a couple good fights, you know. So, um, you know, kind of hoping to see it as a fan. Ryan Bader versus Antonio Rodrigo Noguera in the Comey event. Who do you got? You know, I don't don't haven't paid enough attention to the, those two fighters, um, but I, I always go with the wrestler in that situation, and I'm probably going to pick Pater. I, I think he's going to be able to use his wrestling to set up his striking, and then use his wrestling to take him down and and, and beat him up on the ground. John Fitch. <laughs> uh, Mir's uh, been talking quite the game from what I understand and uh, Krokop just kind of shrugs it off and laughs about it and I love this comment about you know as soon as the fight hits the ground he's just gonna tap so uh, I, thought that, I thought that was pretty good um, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go with Mir just with uh, he's been fighting the higher level competition lately and um, you know he's just he's got he's got more tools in the toolbox I mean he can I think he can handle Krokop's uh, power his kick and uh, he definitely can get the fight to the ground. So if he gets the fight to the ground, it's, I, think, I think it'll be a quick fight. Bader Noguera, who you got? You know, I'm going to go with Bader strictly off of the, you know, he's, he's, he's coming along the striking. His striking's gotten a lot better. But the wrestling pedigree, I think he has the, the ability to hold Noguera down and put him in the fence and do a lot of damage in the ground and pound. He's just got to be careful of the submissions. I think everybody knows that. But I don't think, uh, I think he can walk through uh, Little Nog's uh, stand up on the feet. It doesn't have a whole lot of power. I don't see that in Little Nog. But um, I think Bader can get through that and, uh, and, and put him away. Uh, I'm going to take Frank Mir. I think he's uh, he can win in many different ways. Uh, he showed knockout power against Czech Congo, and obviously he has a submission, so he has two ways to win. I think Crow Cop can only win by knocking him out, so uh, I'm going to go Frank Mir. Ryan Bader versus Antonio Rogerio Noguera. Who do you got? Uh, I think I'm going to go Bader, man. I think it's, uh, it's his time. He's a big, strong wrestler, which uh, Brill showed uh, Noguera has a little trouble with. So because of that fact and that fact only, I think uh, – Bader's going to win the fight. Uh, Noguera can box, but Bader's a big, strong, durable guy. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Bader. I don't know. I think it might be Mirko's fight. You know, I don't know. We'll see. I just don't. Frank Mir doesn't have the best takedowns. And, uh, you know, Krokoff's pretty hard to take down. And I think Krokoff's stand-up still above Frank Mir's. You know, I think Mir's improved. But, you know, if it stays on the feet, I got Krokoff. And, uh, you know, I give, you know, obviously you give the edge to Mir on the ground, but uh, I think I think Krokoff can pull us out. You know, I'm, I don't know. I'm just my gut feeling, you know, I'm, I'm going with it. You know? Krokoff, taking him. We'll see it. My money on you. Let's do this, Krokoff. <laughs> uh, Ryan Bader versus Antonio Hogerio Noguera in the Kona main event. Uh, who do you have in that fight? Um, you know, uh, it, that, that's a real tough fight to call. Uh, you know, obviously Noguera's last performance wasn't the best. Uh, you know, another tougher, you know, even tougher wrestler coming across, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take Bader. I think he's just going to overpower him. I think, I think he's a little too much, you know, bigger, stronger wrestler, and uh, I, think, I think he'll edge out a decision. Grockled. Ryan Bader versus Antonio Hozier or Noguera, who do you got? Uh, Bader. Why? Wrestling. And his submission knowledge is is, uh, is moving up there, so he's fairly aware of what's going on. And I don't think, uh, you know, Noguera can stop him from taking him down. So that's why I think Bader's going to win. Frank Mir versus Mirko Krokop in the main event. Who you got? Mir. Why? Because Mir's going to show up. And I don't know if Krokop will. That's why. Javier Mendez. 